They're yours. Hey everybody, Lexenda Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. Woohoo! I'm going to start by painting the rainbow onto a tumbler. We are going to use chip brushes. I have a gazillion of these. They're super cheap off Amazon, but for those of you who are concerned with waste, I will be cleaning these when we're done. You should clean with alcohol because we are using alcohol inks. I have a cup of just 91% there in case I need it. I have my Roy G. Biv. These are all Woody's goodies. We have Shirley Temple, Dirty Shirley, Yellow Hammer, Jamio Jello, Curacao, and Witch's Heart. These are my favorite alcohol inks of all for doing rainbows. Personal preference, whatever you have on hand, that is perfect. I am going to do what's basically a modified wood grain. I'm gonna try. I haven't done all that many wood grains and this is a little different obviously, so we'll see how I do. I've already sectioned off my tumbler. This is a 30 thick. So it's about 11 inches around. I spaced these markers out uh, by, <laughs> the calculator says 1.83 inches, but it was a little more than one and three quarters. I'm gonna start with red here. I'm going to try to not let it drip, but as you know, we're putting a liquid on a round object, so we'll see how that goes. Obviously these sections won't be exact, that's fine. I'm not worried about it. And of course, in my mind's eye, this already doesn't look at all like what I thought I was gonna get, but that's okay. Try to be flexible and laid back and not worry about things like that. <laughs> That one got away from me. That was not all right. <laughs> Clearly, I'm going to be doing some touching up here. Oh, dear. Yuck. Why did yellow and green end up next to each other in the rainbow? They just, they don't play well together. All right. I will have fast forwarded through all of that with music so that you didn't hear all the millions of F-bombs that I dropped when things were not going well. That did not go to plan, but you know, that story of my life there, especially when it comes to resin tumblers. <laughs> a lot of my ideas don't go to plan, a lot. I'm actually relatively happy with how that looks. And it's just the base. It's gonna be the background for whatever the heck I'm gonna do next. And I'm not even sure at this point, because again, what I saw in my mind's eye, while it looked like a rainbow, it did not look like this. This is different than what I thought it was gonna look like. So who knows what I'm gonna do next. Hey, we're back. All right, so I have covered this with a layer of Artsyville Embellishments foil adhesive that I got from Artistic Painting Studios. And I am also going to use a foil that I get from Artistic Painting Studios. I will put the name of this on the screen because off the top of my head, I'm not sure. Hopefully you can see this. There are holographic dots and hearts and squares, I think, and all sorts of pretty designs on it, holographic, but also a lot of clear space, or I guess technically white space. So it is going to put a lot of accents onto our tumbler, but it's not going to cover up everything that's done already. And the reason I have this cup here, you may remember this, this was a 30 thick I did 
quite a while ago. I'll link to it below if anybody hasn't seen it and you're curious. But I'm using this because <laughs> this is covered with real sticky adhesive and if I put it down to try and get sizing on my foil sheet, I'm gonna be really sorry. So I'm gonna use something that's a, the same size and I'm gonna put it there and then leave myself some space for the bottom. Just right here. Okay, so we have our piece of foil. Now somebody pointed out to me when I did this last time and I had trouble with wrinkles that it might have been because this is bigger than the circumference of the cup and it, therefore the cup was not moving in a straight line as I rolled it up. So I'm gonna try and straighten this out first. And then I'm gonna take this off. And I'm gonna start right here at the edge and we're gonna see what happens. All right, not too bad. Trim it down anyway. We'll have some extra bits if we need them. Push this down on the bottom. Like that, and then basically rub the whole thing firmly with a stiff bristle, a stiff bristle brush. <laughs> I got this from the cleaning section of either Dollar Tree or Walmart, I forget. All right. Okay, <laughs> well, I had some, it's very pretty, but some of the foil stayed on the carrier sheet and did not come off. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and rescue these spots, and I don't know if I'm going to succeed, but I'm gonna get out the alleens, tack it over and over, and brush these spots, because they just aren't sticky anymore. It took the adhesive off with the foil, and I'll see if I can then patch it up with some of the pieces I have left. We'll just see how we do. We'll see if I can at least get it to look a little better than this. We'll come back after the Alleen's is on and has dried. Got a piece of tape on the back of my carrier sheet so I get my side right here. Nah. Oh, the static is real, man. Oh, that didn't even work here. Doesn't mean it'll work any better this way. going to rip off other spots. I'm going to accept this with all its imperfections and we're just going to move on because I've, I've had it. <laughs> Nothing I can do at this point will make it better. The only thing I can do is make it worse than it already is. Okay, here's what's going to happen next. I was going to go to resin at that point, but I decided not to. I got out my Liquid Mica Metallics. This is Champagne Gold and this is Copper. And I am going to paint some accents on here. I could go to resin first and then do this because then if I don't like it, I can take it off. But I'm gonna wing it. I'm, I'm gonna play with fire here. This is this really gloppy, um, snot-like stuff. We are going to Do some covering up of things, among other things. Accents and covering up of things. Uh, 
All right. I actually like that a lot better. I don't know how much it shows up on camera. Hopefully it'll show up when we do our final sunshine shot, but I am going to go to resin after this dries. have to admit this looks gorgeous it just goes to show you that if you throw enough pretty sparkly things at something eventually you might get a result you like <laughs> so yay for all the stuff I put on here working pretty well together. Now it's time to do some decal and saying work here and finish this cup up. What I want to do with this is, even though technically rainbows and hearts, it could go a number of different ways in terms of a theme, but I am still feeling a think spring thing here. So I'm gonna go with that. And I have some of my favorite flowers and you'll know why when I tell you what I call them, which is hyacindies. Uh, so every spring, they come up and they say, hiya, Cindy, because that, that's, you know, my name. And I'm going to put these along the bottom. This is a beautiful brushed gold vinyl I found on Amazon. I will link to everything below. I thought about putting a um, an offset on it to make it pop more, but honestly, I know this is fine. This is Nito brand printable vinyl. Initially, I wasn't going to do anything with pinstriping, but obviously I have not lined these up perfectly. It's a big surprise there, so I probably will do a pinstripe. There it is. For some reason in my mind's eye, these came up farther, even though I used a ruler. <laughs> Think I'd have it figured out, but anyway, perfect in my mind would have been the saying right about here. But you know what? I'm totally fine with this. I think it's beautiful anyway. I am now going to put a layer of CC DIYs quick coat on this. They're a urethane sealer, and I'm going to do that to tack everything down that I've just put on here because it will dry in about 20, 15, 20 minutes, and then I can put epoxy resin over the whole thing. I will absolutely be putting some 504 in here because there's still some flaws that could be hidden by some extra sparkle. That'd be all right. I tell you, the next time you see this, she should be out in the sunshine. So stay tuned. <laughs> 